Okay. So we were talking about um, making inductions from one domain to another. So making inductions about a domain for which we don't have data based on a domain for which we have data. Well, so my objection first is that you can't label them as separate domains uh, because you don't really know that they are. Well, okay, so let's say, let's, that's fine. Um, well, so you can actually label them as separate domains, even if they they are the same domain. It's just, that's just a normal, it's just a nomenclature difference. There's no, there's nothing prohibiting you from doing that. So they were, it's not asserting that the domain is meaningfully different such that, it's not begging the question. It's not saying that yeah, the domain yeah, is meaningfully fine. different such that we couldn't, we couldn't, okay, so it's just a nomenclature difference. Now, this applies, this is just a statistical issue that applies in any case where you have um, a do domain X and a domain that we label X prime. And then the question is, does the data from domain X allow us to make an inference to prime? And the answer depends. It depends on if the domain um, X is what we would expect had we randomly sampled domain X prime. If the answer to that is yes, I, yes sir. I would change that. I'd say that only if it is entailed by the hypothesis, then yes. Wait, what? So, so like if you have a hypothesis that makes predictions in domain X, and that hypothesis entails some consequence in domain X prime, then and so you have reason to believe that your hypothesis is true because it makes predictions about X, then you should also believe the predictions about X prime too. Because you have, you already have reason to believe that the theory is true, and if well, well, hold on. So that's the that's what the whole thing we're trying to discuss. That that's the question. That's the question. That's the point of contention, right? So the point of contention is what if you have hypothesis which makes predictions about uh, things within domain X. The question is, does uh, do, can we extrapolate that hypothesis if if that's evidence for domain X? Can we extrapolate it for domain X prime? That's the point. That's the entire question that we're discussing. Right. And, and so my concern here is that anything, any second prediction is going to be uh, the X prime. So like if I drop a pin and I drop it again and again, and I say, well, it's going to fall again in the future, that could be considered an X prime. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So the question is, what is it about X prime that allows us to make the induction from X to X prime? And the, there is an answer to this question. The answer to this question is if the data set of X prime is what we would have expected had we randomly sampled the data set that we have in X. In other words, if I, what we're doing is no different than anything else in statistics. We're taking a sample size and we're trying to make an extrapola extrapolation about a given population. These are just labels. Now, what allows us to do that is if the sample set is what we would have expected had we randomly sampled the population. If that's the case, if we have reason to believe that that's the case, then we can make the inference. If that's so not the which, case... Which sample set are we talking about here? So, uh, is, given these hypotheses, it would be, presumably we would have no idea what the probabilities are for this. It's just one out of infinite, essentially unless we have some prior data to know what we're sampling. So like, what's the probability that Einstein was right about black holes existing? No, no, what, okay, the, I, I, it's, it's off random... topic. Look, so look, so, so when we have, it could be, look, it, it's not, it's not an issue of solving an issue at all. Um, look, this is, this happens, we, these are, there are tests for like, whether they're chi distributed, you can do statistical tests for whether they're, uh, they would, ex you would expect to see this uh, appearing randomly. There are even tests for what like future data can, can be like, there's all sorts of tests for these things. Yeah, that doesn't make any used, sense. So, so the time. Well, you can say that, it doesn't make any, explain yeah, sure, that can, can, in the yeah, context sure. of general you know, relativity. Yeah, sure. So, 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 okay, well, before so we get Einstein, there, no, 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 we're, uh, please don't, don't interrupt me. So, before we get there, we will have to. We're going to crawl before we walk. So, let's just say that you are sampling. Um, say you are sampling. Um, Look, this is, your your example is not going to okay, help at all. So, so, so all right. Well, I haven't of, given it. I haven't given it yet. So I, I can just tell you it's not going to It's very clear. All 
right. Well, it's very so, clear so that you're not tracking the context, what I'm saying based on so, what so you're, you're saying. You're bad at this. Let me explain how to explain things to people. You want to explain it in the context of their ideology. And just left. Like, so unhelpful. What? One second. Waste of time. Uh, okay, here. Once, one second. Let's see. Come, come back for a sec. Venus, Venus two, get in here. Look, look, Isaac, I, I don't see the point in wasting my time with this guy. He's just illiterate on like so many thing concepts that have to do with this. And he has no, he clearly has no clue. And he clearly, um, maybe, maybe you should he seems to be so second. convinced. No, no, no. Like, like I'm, you, it's clear based on your responses that you haven't been understanding the first thing that I've been saying. Which is um, literally so what I said. What, what I said is what well, you're well, saying makes no okay, sense. So then, if you, then if you would so, like, so then if you would like, let, let me tell you, you like, how to explain it. You're bad at this. You, you again, like again you have no idea what you're then talking if you about. Would like, so, then if you would like an explanation, so you, no, 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 no. You need to explain it in my language. As I give it to you, as I give it to you, as I give it to you, as I interrupt me, interrupt me again, interrupt me again. I'm not wasting my time. Let's just let's just stop for a second. Okay, so. I don't understand T jump. Why can't he explain it the way he's explaining it? Uh, because like his gibberish does not make sense to me. So he needs to explain it in the context of my example, an example that does make sense to me. It, like anyone who knows how to explain anything knows that you have to explain it in a perspective of the person you're talking to, not in your own head up your ass perspective. What, what so is it that's take, could, could I just ask, what is it that's wrong about how he's explaining it? It doesn't make sense. That's that's the problem. So so, but in order to make it make sense, put it in the context of my example. This is very very simple. But no, if your wait, if your gibberish makes sense, you need to be able to explain how it would apply to a prediction like Einstein. So Einstein made a prediction that was confirmed about life curving around the sun, and then he made a further prediction that black holes were going to exist, but we couldn't confirm that yet. So use your statistical analysis gibberish to explain how that would fit into Einstein's model think, so it can make sense to me. T-Jump, I think what he's saying, correct me if I'm wrong, Avi, is you're saying that's trying to go to more complicated questions and we need to lay some groundwork first. Am I misunderstanding you? Right, because he's not, he's, what because that's yeah, adding yeah, in other things to. to the inference. So that's adding in other, there, well, we can ex go to that, but the problem with that is that Einstein's theory of general relativity is a more specific theory, which adds in more complexities. And it's very clear from this conversation that Cheetah yes, doesn't even yes. understand the basics. And yes, that's the point. So, so well, wait, wait, okay. but, but one, one sec, guys, one sec. That, <sighs> that, that makes sense to me, Tijam. If he says he wants to start with a more basic example, let, let's, let, let's oh start with the basic one. No, so this is how examples work. You start with the, the little basic but steps and then you just, apply them to the more just, general You can't just refuse yes, to let no, him explain no, it to you. No, no. He's, he's, he, wants, he wants to start from square one. Just let him do that. Instead of forcing him to a level of complexity. It's a waste of time. Stop. I can tell you right now, I will never, I can just mute you, let you pretend to finish and then ask my question again Wait, because but, it will not make sense. <sighs> Yeah, just but, just but answer it. It's like imagine imagine if you were learning math from someone and you insisted on being taught no, quadratics no, 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 before no, no. addition. I understand that, that's what this he's better. Saying. I understand explanations better than you guys. So I'm better at explaining things to people than you <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, but so, but teach so, so why just, can't just wait, answer you got, the you question let him, in the way he needs, he needs to start somewhere basic, obviously. No, Tom. no, no, no. He's going to start with nothing. So, so well, it sounds like it sounded to says, me like he was saying just, something. Oh my god! T so, so all of the gibberish Wait, said, come on, you're, being, you're being unfair right now. You're being unreasonable. He's trying to start with something simple. No, no, no. no. This is this. No, stop. He's literally do telling you that way. he'll. He's do telling you that he'll address. I don't what care you if you speak Japanese. If you're going to speak Japanese for an hour, it's a waste yeah, but, of my but time. But he wants to build in my mind. He wants to. No, that's Japanese. That's all Japanese. You're building nothing. You're saying nothing. What? If, Wait, if you talk is, in your gibberish language so that makes no sense to me, why is this, this is not so crazy right now? This is this is very very simple. Okay, if you but, talk in your gibberish language oh, that makes no sense ridiculous. to me, this it will continue to make no sense. Wait, You're right. The, I don't want shut this up to and descend. listen. Wait, shut up and wait, listen T -jump, for a second. T jump. I don't want shut this to descend oh into nonsense. Let's just shut up and listen for a second. I want the exact same thing. I want the exact thing. So you're being you're already going you into nonsense. Interact with someone like you have this? already gone into nonsense. I'm trying to stop you're you. Like, you're you stop going into the nonsense. No Back up. Back up away oh, from the nonsense. Oh, okay, so, so what you're saying 
to me is nonsense. So you need to stop going that direction because it's just going to be more nonsense. Put it into an example that makes sense to me. I agree. I don't want this to go into He's nonsense either. He's already replied either. to this, T-Jump. He says he needs to start with something more basic no, 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 no. before you, you, addressing In your head, you can like start this way. You can't start with me that way. It will continue to why, be more nonsense. Jump, why Why won't you just let him explain what he's trying to explain? Because it's it's nonsense. It makes no, it's zero words. There are but zero it, coherent but words there. Jump, you, you're it doesn't matter how many that, more words That could just add. be you not tracking him. Let him make yes, his way through. Yes, that Avi, is what, the point. What, I've said uh, that six Avi, times. what percentage of the explanation would you said. say that you got through there? Like what percentage of it did you get through roughly? Maybe like 0.1? Okay, yeah, yeah, so and all of those words are nonsense. Finish. So adding let's... more nonsense makes it more confusing. Wait, you have what... to stop. Okay, wait. What word do you not understand? When he's using words like population, those are. I, okay, I do not okay, understand wait. a single that's gibberish. Fine, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's that's cool. Look, T jump. Those are. I, I don't want are... definitions. What I want. Yeah, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. You but to Tom, if he's going to if he's going to use if he's going to use statistics terminology, he can explain it, right? He's using he's using terms like population. Those have meanings in statistics. When you explain something to someone, you need to use their language not yours. <sighs> Tom, yours is he's using meaningful. the language of statistics. I'm not, this is not going to change. You're so wasting you, so our time. You're, you're you have to answer Tom, it my way Tom, or we're you're done. you're insisting that he not speak to you in the language of statistics and you're refusing to hear That's what fine. terms in that That's language fine. mean. I don't care. So he has to explain okay, but, it to me okay, in so my just, language just to... or we're done. It's okay, that simple. If, explain it to well, me well, in yeah, my language. Answer you're, my you're, example. You're, insi you're insisting on talking about statistics without allowing him to use no, the no, terminology no, no, no. from no, statistics. No. I'm, I'm saying he has to explain it in my example. Then we can go back and go to the gibberish. First, you have to explain it in the context okay, of my example, Avi, which makes Avi, sense to me. Is it is it is it actually possible for you? Like, I think I think T Jump's being a fucking idiot right now. But is it possible to bend to his idiocy and explain it in the context of his example, or is it actually not doable without getting other concepts in place first? I don't think it's going to be doable because I'm not even sure if it's the same type of inference in his example. Yeah, okay. So let's just start at basics. So just from square no, no, one, and Tom, when basics. you hear... Wait, wait. No, no, and when you no, hear a term... Dumb. Wait, you're Tom, when idiots. you hear a term you don't understand, just ask and he'll explain it. So no, just, no, just I'm not obvious, going to... Just, no, because that's going to be more terms I don't understand. So Tom, you have to explain Tom, it. Tom, look, let's just let's just be serious here. Tom, okay, this is a guy who knows statistics. You guys are being fucking morons. Tom, Tom. Tom, calm down. Okay? No, 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 no. I'm telling you how okay, to explain it to me. I'm telling you what I need speaking. for it let's to make sense. Let's take turns speaking, okay? My turn for a second. Yes. All right. Okay, give me a turn. Sure. Okay. Avi is someone who understands statistics. He's trying to walk you through something. To me right now, it's looking obvious. Like, you understand that he's going to start talking about stats. You're going to be lost as fuck because he knows the topic better than you. So you're trying to force him off of a basic explanation because he's about to stomp you. Stop being a cowardly little bitch. Let no. him explain. If you don't oh understand God, a term meaning, you're going to run away, so, Tom? you going to run away? Or are you going to let him talk? No, it's my turn Tom, to speak Tom's, so, oh. My turn Okay, to okay. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. So... so if you're talking in a field that I don't understand, it's all gibberish. You're never going to make sense to me. It's a complete waste of my time. You need to bring it into a context I can understand, which means you need to put it into my example or nothing you say will ever make sense. You're just going to waste all of our time for an hour. And I'm going to repeat the exact same fucking line again until you do the exact same thing I'm telling you to do right now. Do not waste my time. Do this. Explain in the context of a testable prediction. One testable prediction was made. It was correct. We infer the other ones are correct, which is the exact same for both general relativity and the piranhas example we're talking about. Explain how that has anything to do with your gibberish. Okay, Avi, it's your turn. What do you want to say? Yeah, I'd like to um, explain to Tom how um, inductive reasoning uh, works, and I'd like to explain to him the parameters that statistics have on inductive reasoning such that um, govern whether the inference follows or whether it doesn't follow. There's a concept in statistics that allows us to do that. I'm trying to explain which concept allows us to, to discern those things. However, Tom doesn't seem to be allowing me to explain that. Okay, and just to be clear, Avi, it's fine if Tom cuts you off if there's something he doesn't understand in what you're saying, right? Oh, of course. If, he doesn't, if he's not clear on a ter what a term means. Absolutely. He can, he can say, hey, I'm not sure what this term means. Please explain what this term means. Okay, so just proceed with your explanation until that happens, and maybe we can isolate where the trouble is. Okay, sure. So when we're looking at 
different things. I'm going to try to like dumb everything I'm saying down. And when we're trying to make an inductive inference to other things, there is a concept known as external validity. Now, this might be a term. This might be one of the terms that T-Jump doesn't understand. So in statistics, external validity is just the concept of whether the, the, um, in, the inductive reasoning, the inferences from one data set can be successfully used to make predictions about another data set. Now, things are externally valid. If the data set is what we would expect if it were randomly sampled from the other data set. In other words, let me give you a, an, a concrete example that might make this clear. So let's say we have a data set of uh, North Indian females between the ages of 10 and 20. Now there's the hypothesis that um, the hypothesis is that people from North, so it's just the hypothesis is people are going to have um, mildly dark skin with black hair. And then we sample North Indian females between the age of 10 and 20. Now we sample the first one. And the flow and behold, the first one has black skin and mildly dark skin and black hair. The second one, same thing. This third one, same thing. Looks like the hypothesis is doing pretty well. Now, the, now after 100 or so of these sampling, and the hypothesis is doing really, really well, it's, it's 100 for 100, a, Eastern Euro, a Northern European female between the ages of 70 and 90 gets sampled. Now, the hypothesis predicts that this female will also will be a mildly dark-skinned individual um, with black hair. Now, the question is, can we make a statistical inference from the data set that we currently have, which is northern Indians between the ages of 10 and 20, to apply to that other data set? And there's a principle that governs whether the answer is yes or no. If we're going to move to another domain that we're... Oh, he left. He actually ran away? Oh, okay, Oops. good. No, it was just... I, I didn't think Tom would do something like that. Okay, my okay. bad for okay. assuming that was running away. Okay. Yeah, so if we're going to, set, to apply this hypothesis to the other thing we're labeling a domain, a different domain that we're labeling a different domain, whether we can make the jump to say that because the hypothesis is predictions have been true in this domain, if whether we can make inductive inference to the next domain or not depends on a principle. And that principle is random selection. Is random is if the samples, if the data set was randomly sampled from the population, it's what we would expect if it was randomly sampled from the population. So for example, if the individuals in no, if the northern um, European individuals between the ages of uh, 60 and 90 or 70 and 90 were, the indiv were representative of what we would expect had we randomly sampled them um, from the population, if they would match that random sampling that we currently have, which are the northern Indians between the ages of 10 and 20, then yes, we can make that, we can make that inference. If not, then no. And then the issue is, there is no, well, first of all, before we go into the issue, do we understand, like, do we understand that? Or is there any questions that you have about that, Tom? Yeah, the question is, put it in the context of my general relativity example. Well, before, okay, I just, I'm just asking if you understand what I have said so far. Like, before we care. get to the context of, okay. He's not. He's not listening. <laughs> it's like you're right. I'm told. I told you before. Yeah, I don't care about anything the, you're saying because it's not going to make sense uh, until you put it into the context okay. of my general. Well, I, I, I don't. I don't know what to say. If if you're not willing to listen, then there's just. I'm no telling you exactly talking. what I need to make sense. You're you're going Tom, off of your own Tom, tangents. What did you not about. follow about what he said? 
I didn't listen, and I'm not going to listen. I told you exactly okay. what I need so, for it to make sense. Yeah, no. If, if you're not, if you're not going to listen, there's just no point. You're no, no, no. I'm. T this is how conversation works. This is what no, I need for it to Tom, make sense. It's not how conversation. I, I'm literally, works. I'm He's literally telling you what I need. Up, and you can no. You're you explaining can explain, nothing, and you can point out if there's something he says that doesn't no, no, make no, sense. No, no, that's not how explanations Instead work. Instead of you not listening, your head up your ass. I'm literally giving Tom, you the it'll steps. Work just you, I fine. Need. He no, can no, explain what he needs, and then you can interject when you're not understanding. Stop, stop talking. Um, I'll speak whenever talk. I want. I'm taking turns okay. talk, remember? Now, turn, turns if talking. Yeah, but if you're not going to listen, turn, if you're not going to listen to Avi, there's you no You dumbasses are not talking. listening to me. I'm what? telling you what Tom, I need Tom, to make sense. I'm Tom, literally giving Tom, you the steps Tom, I Tom, need for it to Tom, make sense. Tom, Tom, will you listen to Avi as he no, explains? No, I will okay, not listen to Avi no until he listens to me. You're right. So okay, until he listens so, to me, I will not listen to him. Okay, so... I, I guess we'll just leave it there. Like, whenever you're ready to actually the, hear him this explain is not this, hard. Do, put it in the context no, of my Tom, example. No, he's not, he's not going to bend into another context. For no, no, there's, this is, this there's is no, there's pretty no fucking simple. To. Dumbass. Dumbass. No, Learn no, how to Tom, speak to people Tom, you fucking moron. Tom, there's if no someone reason. tells you, there's I need no this to make sense... Tom, no, no, this, this is just giving you an explanation, and you may explain no, you what dumbass. part doesn't this, no, make sense. No, dumbass. Learn how Tom, conversation works. This is why everyone makes fun of you an because of how stupid you are in a conversation. You don't through, know how to speak. He can talk through his explanation, and you uh, may point th this, out if there's something you no, don't understand. I, now, I, if, I literally if did that. If you're, hey, hey, oh, okay, do sorry, this. What? I did okay, that. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. That's sorry. If you're doing that, then we can we can deal with that. What is it? It's literally what I've been doing okay, since okay, the fucking wait, wait, beginning. Wait, 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 stop. What was it about what Avi said that you didn't understand? The whole fucking thing. Put it in the okay, context of so, my model. So I need you Avi, to do just, that so Avi, it can make sense. If you Avi, do not just, do that, just, it will one, not make one, sense. One, one sec, Tom. So Avi, just start from the start, and Tom just no. Interject. Do not start from the start. It will okay, still not so, make sense. So Tom, you're the just saying that you won't The only logically possible way for it to make sense, you need to put it in the context of my example. I'm literally. The fucking only possible telling. way. The only possible way. That's an interesting claim. So, yes. Tom. No, do that. Tom. Tom. He can talk now. If you're not willing to allow him to explain the concept as he understands it and raise questions when you don't understand, there's just no. no point I, I literally did that. That's awesome. exactly what I did. I do not understand anything you're saying okay. or what it has anything to do okay. with the topic. Yeah, Put but it that, in Tom, the topic. Tom, explain it in the topic. Okay, so Avi, just start from the start. And Tom, when you hear a word no, no, you don't it, understand, oh, this is not about words. The words don't Tom, fucking matter. I understand all of the words and I understand all okay. the statistics. Then when I don't hear, understand the relevance of any you, of the gibberish you're then, saying then, to the topic. Then. And when you hear a sentence that you don't understand, you can I understand all the sentences. I don't understand the relevance to the topic. Okay, Avi, do you want to explain the relevance to the topic? Because he says, despite, yeah, despite, yeah, despite, yeah, despite, sorry, 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 sorry. He says, despite the fact that he didn't actually listen to anything that you said, he doesn't understand the relevance to the topic. So that sounds clear enough. Do you want to just explain the relevance to the topic? Yeah, the, the relevance to the topic is literally just that. It's the, the topic is what allows us to make, uh, to be confident that we can make an inductive inference from domain X to domain X prime. That's the literal question at hand. Yes, and great, I'm trying great. to explain, and so that, so, so that's... The your explanation that isn't working, so, so your explanation doesn't work. So, so we so agree I, that there's... Wait, wait, so is your there first relevance? part was great. We, first part was great. First do part, we agree? Stick, stick with the first part. The first part is, so the question... The first part is, is that the question of how do we make an inference about these inductive examples to another one? Yes. Now take whatever the, all of your well, gibberish well, not is. not quite. That's not quite the, the question. It wasn't the question meant to be literal. It's fine. The fine. question whatever is, whatever you said. Just to, be, just to be clear on what, what it is. The question is, what yeah. allows us to make an inference or to be confident that we can make an inductive inference from domain X to domain X prime? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I, I said, paraphrased. Okay. Next. So take that, okay. take whatever your methodology is for discerning Wait, but the this objection, fact. Tom, you objected it, about whether what what the relevance was was that the objection? yeah so, so so this that's not that doesn't answer my question all you're saying is you're repeating the question so it, yes obviously that is the question well, we're talking about okay wait, now you need think, to explain think, wait, wait, wait 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 let's wait, just deal with wait, whether your wait, objection has been addressed talk. right there wait tom but no you it said, is not you that's, said, i'm literally wait, i'm literally answering sure that I question right now understand your objection you what you had said was you don't understand the relevance correct yes okay, so, so, so just, i don't just I understand clear, what he's trying just, to just answer. to be clear slow down no no slow down so let just me to be let clear. my turn to talk 
he is what, saying what he's saying the my, relevance is, my turn is to talk. one second tom one second that's, no one that doesn't second, answer the tom, question you're being you're being a little fucking I'm literally innocent, trying okay? to answer the thing you're saying tom, right now just I'm listen try, i can't make my way through a sentence if you do this okay so one second the objection, I, you guys the, have talked tom, more than me let me tom, talk tom tom it's because you're being let me ass. fucking <laughs> talk Oh my lord. Okay, so just to be clear, just to, give me fucking just to be 30 clear, seconds. Tom, just to be clear, the objection just give was me about fucking the objection 30 seconds was about without fucking interrupting. The okay, that Tom, doesn't answer Tom, my question. Tom, you you're, dumb making, you're making you're making I this understand what he's trying to answer. Tom, I didn't say it answered your question. I'm trying to understand the question and understand the answer to see if it answered your question, okay? So calm your I'm kids. literally telling you Right now, now, I'm telling you. One, oh my, like, I can't deal with someone who's like this. This is just insane. Tom, you're talking to people no, who are I'm a lot, perfectly a reasonable. Lot, I'm the like, reasonable person here. Oh, uh, my lord, this is just insanity. Holy shit. Tom, look, you asked, you said you didn't understand how what he's saying is relevant, okay? So, obviously yes. explaining, the relevance is that he's telling you the principle that governs when such an induction is reliable. Is that your answer, I Obby? understand what clear, he's Tom, trying Tom, to do. Tom, 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 that's be quiet, why it's, oh my that's, God. that's exactly oh my what God. the relevance is. Like, now, I just okay. want to know that we're, we're right. so, we so, agree so, that it's relevant now. I no, it's relevant. You, you stating what you're trying to explain does not explain how it does that. that that's, that's another the problem. question. So I understand that's a different, what that's a you're trying question. to do. That's, that's Tom, that's a jump. That's a different question, right? You asked that's, about that's, the relevance. No, no, that's, that's the relevance question. So, no, so if that I was say, a different I'm trying, question. That this was, is pretty no, fucking that was, simple. That was a failure to track right there. Avi, did no, you track the no, difference not. between the this two is, questions? This is very simple. Avi, do you want to lay out the difference? Do you want to spell out the difference there? Let me present it to you in an argument form. Avi, just talk over him. Just explain the difference between the two. Yeah, so there's tracking. a difference between what I'm. There's a difference between okay, whether muted, I'm trying muted, to. Okay, muted. Bye bye. Okay, so then, well. Then so no listen okay, to so me speak because okay, you I'm both just, fucking muted. Gonna, I can't don't, hear don't either worry, of you. Don't worry. Don't worry. I've got I've got Tom on on mute. Um, I'll just I'll just type it in that you're on mute till Avi is done. Um, sorry. So just okay, explain so the, the, the the difference. Yeah. So there's a distinction between my attempt. Whether my you attempted should mute him answer, on your end, I, I can hear him. He, he he left. It's fine. Okay. So yeah. So the difference is there's a, there's a big difference between whether my attempted answer succeeds in establishing a governance for making the induct inductive leap from domain X to domain X prime versus the question of whether my attempted answering. Uh, whether we can make an inference from domain x to domain x prime is relevant to the question of whether we can make a jump from domain x to a domain x prime so even if my answer failed if even if i gave a bad answer it would it would still be relevant the question wasn't whether my answer succeeds the question or whether i um or, or whether it's it's correct or not or whether it's um or, or any of that the question is whether it's relevant and the answer is, if what I'm trying to do is provide an explanation that allows us to govern whether we can make the domain jump from X to X prime. And the very question on the table is what allows us to make the, the domain jump from X to X prime, of course, is relevant. So just to make sure, because I was, I was taunting T-jump in, in chat during that. Um, so there's a distinction between the question of why is something relevant and how does it, how does it achieve, what do you say, how, how does it do some given thing? How does it how does it succeed in giving us well how does it succeed in giving us a, a principle to dis discern the uh, whether we can make the inductive leap or not? So like even if I gave a bad principle, right? Let's say I gave so trying to like trying to say like okay, well you haven't done that, you haven't given me like uh, a, uh, a a a a principle to make the domain jump. You haven't actually provided uh, uh, that answer, um, and. That's a different question to whether the answer I'm attempting to provide is relevant. So the right. answer I'm attempting to provide is clearly relevant because I'm attempting to provide an answer to that very problem, the domain jump, whether, whether we're allowed to do it or not. Right. So the question of, is what you're saying relevant to the question of, um, of when is rel uh, induction reliable from like domain X to domain X prime, and you say... Well, it's it's relevant because I'm describing the principle that tells us when such a thing can be done. That's an answer to the relevance question. But then what he did was shift over to another question. I don't remember his exact phrasing, but it was something like, "Why does why does that principle work?" or something like that. Right? What was the exact phrasing? 
Or to put it, he wants he, or to put it into his context. Like, wow, how, you haven't you haven't provided it in the context of general relativity. Like, well, yeah, that's a completely he, he, different. He yeah. asked. He asked a little, but I I just I forget his exact phrasing there. But he asked a question that was distinct from how it's relevant, right? Because you explained why it's relevant, but then he asked something about like why it works or something like that. And that's just- Oh yeah, you way. haven't, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, a, yeah, it, whether, or I took it to be like whether it succeeds in working or something like that. Yeah. But whether it succeeds or not, um, it's completely different from whether it's a, it's relevant. Yeah, yeah, well that, that was really cringe because it seemed like what happened there was you started giving a pretty straightforward wreck of his position. And um, he couldn't track it. He obviously didn't understand the statistics terminology and whatnot. And it seemed like he wanted to kind of pull a bit of a Darth move. Like he wanted to sort of interact only on the turf that he's comfortable with. Um, and he tried to say only an explanation like that can make sense to him. But it's not clear why that's true at all, right? And it seemed like when you wanted to just start from basics and allow him to interject anytime there's something he didn't understand, he just refused to listen. So as far as I can tell... There's just a pretty straightforward wreck of his position here, and uh, he just won't interact with it. He's not willing to let you explain your view and then ask uh, questions when he doesn't understand something. He's insisting on a specific kind of framing, and it's not clear why you would have to give a framing like that. You can just walk through your point, and uh, if he doesn't understand, he can explain where. He won't do that. So I think that's a, uh, I think that's a very straightforward wreck. Would you, do you see that any differently than I see that there? No, I, I don't see it any differently. I mean, I hope it's clear to why um, the Einstein's theory of relativity is a much more complicated example to use straightforward um, induction because it it uses a lot of examples with Einstein's theory of relativity. First of all, I don't even know if the inference is going to be the same because a lot of it um, relies on abduction. So um, we can look at like the best um, ex ex uh, the theory that best explains the data. Um, and we can look at the predictions that are entailed by the theory. Um, and, but if he's, I mean, we can do it. We can say like, okay, well, what can you use induction for? And we can just say that, say that the theory is Einstein's um, theory of general relativity. That's fine. That can be done. But the thing is like the, the theory can still be very powerful in um, its predictions in virtue of abduction and not induction. And so even if my point would hold true that it can't be, we can't make the inductive jump, t something Tom might be able to say about some of the predictions of Einstein's theory of relativity is that it still gar garners strength because of its uh, abductive virtues. And that's what complicates that example a lot. Because I'm not even sure if the, if the inference is going to be the same. Now, if the inference is the same, the, pr the point obviously still holds for the general theory of relativity. But it doesn't ring, the, the basics won't really ring true because someone can just say that, um, that it is uh, going to be, the prediction is still going to be accurate because of an, an abductive reason, not an inductive reason. But um, like, like, look, so, though, but the whole thing about going to relativity, it just seems like, it seems like an unreasonable um, move to force you into, right? Because... If you say, look, I've got a ground up explanation, he's, he needs to be willing, well, well, I guess he doesn't. He could just say he refuses to listen. But it sounds like you're saying something perfectly clear, and there's, there's no reason why he can't sit there and listen to you and try to understand. Uh, it just seems like he wanted to have the conversation on very specific turf, but he wasn't willing to... Um, no, 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 I, I agree with all yeah. of that. Well, of course I agree with all of that. I'm just, try, I'm just explaining to anyone who may be watching this, like, why uh, the general theory of relativity complicates this principle. Like, not, it doesn't complicate the principle. It just complicates someone who is first learning about this principle and trying to understand how it works. Like, it's, it's going to be very unhelpful to do that here. Yeah, it's like you want to start with a really kind of basic situation, and then we can talk about more complicated examples after we have the basics in place. Of course. Yeah, I mean, that totally makes sense to me. And for someone to say, you know, you must address this example when it's not clear we have any common ground and it's impossible for you to explain it to me otherwise, even though there's no, there's no explanation of why that's the case, right? Um, it just seems silly. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was a pretty, pretty easy wreck, so, like, good job. But, um, yeah, it's unfortunate because it would have been nice to see how he responds to the actual reasoning, but he uh, he just cowered in, in fear of you and just ran, right? Because 
I mean, I, c I could only guess at the psychology, but what I would guess was he heard the statistics terminology, he heard you running a line of argument he didn't have a response to, and uh, he just tried to force the debate in a kind of unprincipled way um, over to turf that he is comfortable with, right? But there's no, uh, there's no valid reason given for why that must happen. <laughs> He's tried to say it's impossible for him to understand otherwise. I almost, I almost was like, oh, derive the contradiction, Tom, but I wasn't, right, even, gonna, yeah. wasn't even gonna waste time with, with that kind of nonsense. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, he just tried to insist it must happen in that way, but gave no, uh, no explanation of why it needs to, and he just wasn't willing to listen to you. So yeah, I mean, good job. It, it was a very easy wreck, and uh, I'm sure if he wants to uncower and uh, you know try to actually defend the view, I'm sure you'll, you'll do that. But yeah, there's no, there's no like. I, I'm glad you didn't let him pull some bullshit like that. Yeah, good, good job. Hey. That was, that was very, uh, that was very. Uh, yeah, I mean, this guy, is, the guy is just a clown. I don't know why anyone would waste any time with him. I guess I just did, but like, jeez. Yeah. Um, um. Yeah. Oh, Venus is talking. Avi. Wreck. Wrecked. Easy. And he ran. <laughs> um any any final words for the recording or no um i think no i think that's about it i mean this this guy is obviously just a clown but like i i think like maybe we should do some kind of like video explanation like to someone who maybe actually is interested and is willing to uh is willing to listen without like their weird ideology and or ego like driving it so um because it, it is a, a really interesting question but anyway yeah but, that's for another time yeah all right well i'm gonna i'm gonna go to the uh to the dentist but just yeah in summation you tried to lay out the principle that governs when it's okay to perform an induction from one domain to another tom insisted that you answer a question about relativity it's unclear why you would have to do that it's fine for you to want to start at the basics and make sure there's understanding there before moving to another question and uh i didn't see any principled kind of like explanation of why why that's a wrong way to approach things so yeah your approach seemed fine uh, it was a clear explanation he refused to listen and you know if he wants to uh if he wants to stop hiding and and try to uh try to defend the view i'm sure that you're happy to but you're not going to bend to any of his silly shit you'll just explain it from ground up again and he can uh he can interject when he doesn't understand the meaning of a word or a sentence or something like that yeah that's fine all right okay good chat dude all right, take care. Okay, peace.